So you wanna know the pros and cons of living in Minnesota? We've got a lot of awesome things to be proud of and we've got some things that are not so good. I've lived in Minnesota my entire life and I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just make sure you watch to the end of the video where I give you my absolute favorite pro of living in Minnesota. Also, if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about moving here. My name is Darren Bjorkness with eXp Realty and I've been a realtor for over 15 years. I love helping new transplants to Minnesota, so stop your looking, reach out so I can help you with your move to Minnesota and make it easy and seamless. I make videos about real estate, what it's like living in Minnesota, and useful tips and tricks. If you like that type of thing, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now on to the pros and cons. Let's start with one of the biggest cons of living in Minnesota, the winters. Sometimes it gets so cold, it makes you want to cry. This is even more prevalent in Northern Minnesota where we often see a 10 degree difference from the Twin Cities Metro. You'll find that your skin gets very dry in the winter, so make sure to lotion up after every shower. You'll also want some type of humidifier in your home because the air will also get so dry that when you go to turn on the light or touch someone, you'll get a shock. With all that being said, a wise man once told me, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. So make sure to get the correct outdoor clothing so you can make it through our Minnesota winters like a champ. And hey, maybe you'll decide to join me the next time I go winter camping. It's better to embrace it and make the best out of it. If you'd like some fun winter activity options, just click this video above. The next con of living in Minnesota is the summer road construction. Since the weather is pretty cold for most of the year, our fellow road construction heroes only have a brief period of time to fix the damage that was actually caused by the previous winter. The said road construction causes delays, detours, and overall dread. However, using a little technology like the apps Google Maps and Waze, they should be able to navigate you around the construction mess and get you on your way. I feel the Minnesota Department of Transportation overall do a pretty good job of making sure our roads get fixed in a timely manner, but it's still a pain in the butt waiting for that project to be completed. Rush hour traffic can also be a bit of an issue around certain areas of the metro. Con number three would have to be the mosquitoes. In a close second, the black flies. Now the mosquitoes are most likely gonna be number one on most people's list, but I find they can be managed much easier in the Twin Cities Metro. Some of the suburbs treat the high prone areas of where they hatch, so mosquito numbers are much less compared to the areas that they don't treat, like outside of the Metro. If it's May, June, July, or August, and you're in the deep woods of Minnesota, the sun is setting and you don't have any protection, you're definitely gonna learn and be much more prepared next time. Mosquito spray or lotions can also definitely help, as well as treating your clothes with permethrin, and if they're really bad, you can wear a head net to keep them out of your face. Sometimes the black flies are just as bad with them landing on your food or your beverage and their bites are not pleasant. Con number four is the fact that we get let down a lot from our Minnesota sports teams. Whether you've been a fan of the Vikings, the Twins, the Timberwolves, the Wild, and a few others, there's a pretty good chance they've let you down. I'm 41, I've lived here my entire life, and the Vikings have always found a way to let me down. Even through all that, I'm still a hardcore Vikings fan. At least the Twins have won two World Series in my lifetime, in 87 and 91, but they haven't done much since. The good news and positive spin is the fact that we do have multiple professional teams that we can cheer on and go to live games. Con number five is that our train is mostly flat. So if you like the downhill ski, you won't be too impressed with our ski hills here in Minnesota. We've got a few nice options to practice on, but if you're used to skiing in the mountains, you're gonna be let down. Okay, enough of the cons, let's move on to the pros and what makes Minnesota an awesome place to live. Number one is the people. Overall, you'll find very friendly people in Minnesota. I'm sure you've heard of Minnesota nice, and it's pretty true. Of course, there's always some bad eggs, but you'll mostly find that the people are polite, willing to help strangers, smile as you walk by, pleasant in their conversations, and overall friendly. If your neighbor knows you're on vacation or your snowblower is down, we won't hesitate to blow the snow off your driveway. It's in our blood, just do the right thing. Number two is the abundance of outdoor activities. As you may know, we're considered the land of 10,000 lakes, but actually we have more than that number. So as you would imagine, we have plenty of water activities for you to enjoy. Boating, canoeing, water skiing, 
fishing, swimming, skating, snowmobiling, and ice fishing, to name a few. We also have some pretty awesome camping options, as well as mountain biking, hiking, trail running, and cross-country skiing. There's also something about that Minnesota fresh air. So good. Pro number three is that we have a strong job market in Minnesota. We have a low unemployment rate and many Fortune 500 companies that call Minnesota home. For example, we have Target, United Health Group, 3M, Best Buy, General Mills, and Lando Lakes, to name a few. The median income is also higher than the majority of our other states. So if you wanna work, you'll be able to find a job. Pro number four is our quality healthcare system. Minnesota is home to the world-renowned Mayo Clinic, along with many other quality options. People fly in from all over the world to be treated by these quality institutions, so you'll be in good hands here. Pro number five is the overall quality of life. We've got a great educational system with over 200 colleges and universities and wonderful options for grade schools, middle schools, and high schools. Minnesota is frequently ranked as one of the most literate states in the US. We've also got a fairly laid back feel when it comes to our day-to-day -day living. When it comes to roads, we have a well-designed highway network, especially compared to other major cities. And if we get a huge snowstorm, we've got a large deployment of snow plows that will treat the roads and clear the snow so you can be on your way safely. Just remember to slow down, have good tires, and give yourself some space between vehicles on those snowy and icy days. Pro number six is the music scene is one of the best in the country, but I might be a little biased. Minnesota is home to Bob Dylan, Prince, The Replacements, and one of my favorites, Trampled by Turtles. We also have a legendary music venue called First Avenue, where some of the best musicians have played their hearts out. I've been to many of those awesome shows. We've got Guns N' Roses, Counting Crows, Metallica, The White Stripes, Pearl Jam, Kings of Leon, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Ben Harper, Trampled by Turtles, My Morning Jacket, The Strokes, Smashing Pumpkins, Rascal Flats, Ryan Adams, Ben Harper, Mason Jennings, and Weezer. I've been to a lot of them. One of the things that brought me down to the Twin Cities Metro from Northern Minnesota was their huge music scene, along with college. You can always find some quality live music here. Okay, now one of my favorite pros of Minnesota. It kind of has to do with the outdoor activities that I mentioned before. It's the Boundary Waters area of Northern Minnesota and the Superior Hike and Trail System north of Duluth. Sometimes I like to get away and there's no other place in Minnesota that is more beautiful and untouched as those wilderness areas. If you like outdoors or camping, it's definitely a bucket list item. Again, if you're looking to move to Minnesota, reach out and let me help you so I can show you that Minnesota nice. I know the ins and outs of the entire real estate process and you'll be hard pressed to find someone that will work harder for you. I am super passionate about real estate and I'll do my best to make sure that you don't buy a lemon of a house. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Welcome to Minnesota.